Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my Stampin' Studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to construct the layers of this gorgeous card using the new Share What You Love bundle, which will be available to customers May 1st. Let's get started right away. The color palette for our card is Rich Razzleberry and Very Vanilla. I'm also using some of the uh, designer series paper from the Share What You Love bundle. And I've cut them out using the Stitch Shape Framelits. You'll notice that there are two patterns here. What I've actually done is cut one square from the um, handwritten flower names pattern and then the other side is the square that I'm using to coincide with it. And I cut those out using my stitch shape framelits. The, now these come with circles, ovals, and squares. And the sizes I used was the second largest square and then this square. And I just put them together. Let me show you how I constructed it. I've already got these cut out, but I'm just gonna show you how I put them together. So on my platform, I just put them together like so, and then ran them through my Big Shot. Okay, the next item from the bundle we're using is this embossing folder. This is the, let's see, what do they call this? <clears throat> Lovely Floral Dynamic Texture Impressions embossing, embossing Folder. And this one is the thicker embossing folder where you only use the one uh, top plate. When you run it through, you don't need both the top and the bottom plates. Okay, there's a lot of layers to this card, and so really it's, um, when you're putting it together, it's about making sure everything lines up where you like it. So, I've been doing this on a lot of my cards lately. I'm going to want some little stamps peeking out behind the layers that I'm constructing. So I'm just going to stamp those first and get that done and out of the way. Now this card is going to be a tall card, so it is cut at four and a quarter by um, 11 and a half, sorry, by 11, and then it's scored at five and a half. You have to score your top cards if you want a nice crisp folded edge there because of the way that the grain of the paper runs. Okay, I'm going to adhere my layer. Now again, with this textured embossing folder, you can use the popped out side or the depressed side, and I'm actually gonna have the depressed side as my card front. Now, I've talked about this before, but I'm using liquid glue to adhere my layers together because when We've got some texture on our layer that we need to secure tightly. The liquid glue kind of gets in all the nooks and crannies and makes sure that we have a nice tight layer. Okay, now I'm actually making this card for a swap and what I've done is already cut out the pieces from the designer series paper. What I did was I would cut two of my layers let me show you an example together because <clears throat> so this is how it would pop out from the stitch shape framelit and it's a little rougher if you flip it over the stitches so I would cut one layer like this and then I would flip it over and cut the next layer so that the stitches are going the right way okay and now I'm just going to place now when you're um, putting layers together I always like to have my card kind of the way that the finished product is going to look so I can make sure that my layers are in the right place before I glue them down here. 
here. And once I got my first layer adhered, I have two pieces of linen thread and I'm gonna tie those around and in a bow. <clears throat> okay, when tying in a bow, I always like to tie in a knot first so that I know that the thread is good and secure on the card and it won't move around too much on me. And then I come in and create the bow after that. Just a little tip for um, that works well for baker's twine or linen thread. Some of the wider ribbon I don't typically um, tie in a bow, but it would work for that as well. Once my bow is tied, I like to hang on to that knot in the center and then tug on the tails of my bow until I get them the right length. Once my ends are trimmed, I like to come in and curl the ends of my linen thread. So again, I'll hang on to the knot and I'll just take my bone folder and twirl these, curl these ends just like you do if you are wrapping a present and want to curl your ribbon. Okay, so next I like to, again, layer my card. based on the finished product. We've got a layer of a half inch wide strip of mint macaron and a half inch wide strip of very vanilla. And these came from the Share What You Love cardstock pack. Those cardstock packs are a great way to get a variety of, of colors. Now for the notch in the ends of my strips, and again, I just used some scraps of paper I had and cut them a half inch wide. I like to flip my um, punch over, my banner punch over. This is the triple banner punch so that I can see where I'm punching and I get a nice banner right where I want it. And then again, I'm sliding this in where I want these layers placed. And then I'll do a little gluing here. So again, the key to layers is really positioning your card the way you want your final product to look. And we're going to be covering up this corner, so I will put a little snail here to glue that down. Now this layer is going to be popped up. So... I'm going to stick a couple mini dimensionals these mini dimensionals are perfect for these square frames because they aren't too wide and won't be poking out now you notice I'm not putting one in the corner here. That's because as I've been placing this, I noticed that the corner is going to be off of the edge of the layer a bit. Okay, and then we're just 
just pull the backs off of those. I put a lot on here. Obviously, I want this to be good and secure. And I've done that because we've got so many layers going on. I want to make sure that it's sturdy. Now, I'm not worrying right now about where the ends of my mint macaron layer are ending up because I'm going to snip those off later. Okay, now for some stamping again. I'm using the Thank You Sentiment here from the Love What You Do stamp set, this one here. This I actually kind of figured out by accident, but you can still tell what this sentiment says without needing the paper to be as wide as your thank you if you stamp it at a slight angle. So I'm just lining up so that most of the words are on here. And even though some of the top loops of that word are off the paper, you can still tell that this says thank you. I think that's a really cool look. All right. So now we're going to come in with our Banner punch. I think I want that cut a little shorter. There we go. And I also only need a piece of this metallic doily from the bundle. So I'm going to cut this down as well. Now when these are just kind of peeking out, you end up actually having your doilies go a long way and it adds again a little more layer and dimension. So I'm lining that up, putting my snail, and then I will adhere my doily piece and then this will go on top of the other banner again with dimensionals now it's the bottom piece of this banner that's getting adhered to the mint macaron banner layer behind it and so that's where I am placing my dimensionals since I know that part will for sure come in contact with that mint macaron strip. Okay and again just like before we're placing that where we want. And then all that's left is to adhere our card front to the card base and trim the edges of our banners. I'm using snail instead of dimensionals to pop this up because we've already got quite a bit of depth here and I don't want this card to be too thick. Okay, and then once your layers are all adhered, I'm going to come in and snip, snip, 
And my card is done, of course, except for the inside. You can stamp that as well, too. Just some tips for putting together some layers for you. Gorgeous, huh? All right, thanks so much for stopping by to check out my project. I hope you enjoyed what I've made today and found some inspiration. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. Make sure that you're subscribing in the upper left-hand corner is a picture of me. You can click that to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And down in the bottom right-hand corner here will be some playlists of other cards that I've made and other video tutorials. Make sure that you check out my blog. I'll list all the dimensions for this card there, countrycardsbyrose.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.